The problem of computing today is that it is not very energy efficient and also the performance is limiting. The data is constantly changing. The methods to perform the tasks are also constantly changing. So for example, we have applications that do significant like data mining, indexing, kind of curation. These kind of applications all boils down to they need to process large amount of data with um, high performance and high energy efficiency. Our argument is basically that by 2030, computer systems and applications will be highly dynamic. And that's why the focus of the center is on evolvable computing. So the idea of evolvable computing is that our new accelerator hardware, memory structures, communication stacks, security mechanisms, pretty much everything need to be designed to be easily extensible and composable, and also perhaps reusable to adapt to, to changing needs. On the one hand, you want to design something that is specialized for a particular application, but you don't want to make something that is uh, one of a kind that after you have moved on to a new generation of systems or a new application, you have to throw it away. Evolvable computing is always driven by the challenges and opportunities that technological advancements bring, such as proliferation of intelligent storage or post-CMOS logic, and so there will be continuously new components showing up and, the, and therefore a need to integrate them seamlessly into the computing environment. The center is called ACE. It's the center for evolvable computing. Our goal is to focus on distributed systems, ranging from edge systems all the way to a seamless collection of data centers, all the way to a geo-distributed planet-scale data center. What we are trying is to understand how best to design and equip computers of all sizes, from processor cores to planet-scale distributed systems that can tackle the continually growing and evolving computational and data processing challenges of the next decade. We want to take this uh, sort of full, we call it full stack, software, our co-design approach. That's where we really need to have a strong team right, with uh, complementary expertise. The individual effort has been in silos and lacks the broader, the system level, and also network level views to allow these individual research efforts to have any significant practical impact. This is when the center steps in to bring together the top experts in computing hardware, software, networking, security, and applications so that we can work together in the focused research on evolvable computing. It's a center with 21 PIs, faculty members, from 13 different institutions, the top universities in the country, and we basically have the most illustrious and expert members of, of the academic community in our set. The semiconductor supply chain disruption associated with this pandemic has greatly impacted our economy, right? We've seen shortages of everything. So as a result, governments and industry across the world and in the United States are increasing their investments in computing technology, from design all the way to manufacturing, as we have seen in the recent CHIPS Act. Then we hope our, our center will make a significant contribution to this field to both improve scalability, energy efficiency and security, as well as the agility and resilience to disruption of the technolo technological infrastructure. I think uh, collaborations will be very essential and uh, only through this very large scale cross collaboration, we can gain this broad system level and network level perspective. Collaborations is very important for an endeavor like this, and that's really the key to make this a success.